And now, from the wrinkled, unabridged pages of his historical logbooks, BC at Work's resident storyteller, Clay Perry. In 1934, a group of men were expelled from a relief camp for complaining about the food. They made their way into Vancouver, went into a restaurant, had a hearty meal for which they had no money to pay. The judge was sympathetic. He declared that it was really the federal government's fault for not doing their duty. But the city of Vancouver could hardly be expected to carry the burden, so he had reluctantly to sentence them to 30 days in jail. Outside the courtroom, the men burst into a round of he's a jolly good fellow for the judge. And later that night in jail, they entertained their fellow prisoners by singing patriotic songs. But the human experiences of the Depression were more often demeaning than amusing. Bob Smeal, who later became executive director of the Flight Attendants Union, recounts the story of trying for a job with the city of Vancouver. There had been a heavy snowfall and the city advertised for men to clean up the streets with shovels at 40 cents an hour. And so Bob and hundreds of others stood in a lineup for hours, four abreast, blocks long, waiting for a few hours employment at 40 cents an hour. But as the afternoon grew into the evening and the evening into midnight, the snow turned first to sleet and then to rain and disappeared. The men were told to go home. Bob recalls trudging off, wet with worn out shoes, miserably cold, down the streets. He went into a small cafe, tried to dry off. He didn't have the price for a cup of coffee. And as he stood behind the stools trying to get warm, he recalls hearing on the radio in the cafe a minister declaring that the unemployed didn't want to work. And it was of experiences like that that the great organizing drive of the CIOs in the late 30s and early 40s was made. And that's Perry's.